Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Everybody, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Mm -hmm. Morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Darius. Deontay, how you feeling, baby? Hey, Iris Watts. Kim Ford, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Courtney, Iretta, Kim, Joyce. Good morning. Love you too, boo. Charlene, good morning. Hazel, good morning. Good morning, Courtney. Baby, we made it to Friday, baby. Now my daughter talking about she got to stop by here to get something out the shed. Oh my God. Good morning. Janice Peterson, it is a good morning. I'm feeling okay, just waiting on them to say what time. Oh, so you're having surgery. You all, please keep Deontay in your prayers. He's having surgery um, today, I guess. But we plead the blood of Jesus on, on the surgeon's hands. On the surgeon's mind, I pray that they would be alert, attentive. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that when you come up, you will be better than when you went under. Come on, somebody. Don't, don't get me started now. <laughs> come on, somebody. I pray that when you go under, <laughs> you will be better. When you come up, come on, somebody. Yes, we believe in God for Deontay Jordan as he goes into surgery. There is nothing too hard for our God. We believe God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Keep, keep me posted, Deontay. I know you will. Good morning, Sharon. Waymaker. Miracle worker. Promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. <laughs> Way make a miracle worker. Promise keep light in the darkness. Our God, that is who you are. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. May make a way make a miracle worker promise keep light in the darkness our God that is who you are you are way make a miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness our God our God that is who you are yeah, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God, that is who you are. Yeah, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God, our God. That is who you are. Thank you, Jesus. You move mountains. <laughs> you calm walls of all with your power. Before miracles, there is nothing. Good morning, Lydia Tashera. That's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made, you made a way. You made a way when our backs were against the wall. And it looks as if it was over you. You made a way. And 
we're standing here only because you made, you made a way. You move mountains. You come on the phone with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God, our God. That is who you are. Good morning, Glenn. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God. That is who you are. Whoa, oh yeah. Waymaker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, you are a light in the darkness, our God. That is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God. That is who you are. Yes. Come on in, y'all. Come on in, y'all. I just believe God. I believe God. Mary Burden, good morning. He's a way maker. You hear me? Thank you, Jesus. He's a way maker. Thank you, God. Miracle worker. He is a promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God. <laughs> That is who you are. Ooh, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God. That is who you are. Thank you, Jesus. You are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God, that is who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Waymaker, miracle worker, light in the darkness, our God, that is who you are. Yes, God. Y'all come on in. Thank you, Jesus. He's a way maker. You hear me? The promises of God are yes and amen. Thank you, Jesus. He is not a man that he should lie. Thank you, Jesus. He's a way maker. We can count on him every single time. He has never let us down. Thank you, Jesus. Give God glory. Hallelujah. Christopher Pitts, good morning. We make a miracle worker. I'm going to be singing that all day. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness, our God. That is who you are. Glory to God. Listen. Yes, I read her. I read her. Baby, we can count it all joy. Yes, because he comes in, he gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Come on, somebody. He gives power to to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Thank you, Jesus. Why wouldn't you trust God? 
He gives power to you when you're weak and his grace is sufficient and his strength is made perfect in your weakness. Now, why wouldn't you believe God? I got four minutes and I'm going to work this thing in four minutes. With the help of the Lord, with the help of the Lord, I'm going to work this in four minutes. Listen, I want to talk about mountain movers. Are you a mountain mover? And what am I uh, speaking in reference to when I say mountain movers? What is the key to being a mountain mover? Let it be so according to your faith. How much faith do you have we as a people of God, we talk a big talk, but there are things that we will never experience in this life. Why? Simply because of unbelief. We don't believe. The scripture says in Matthew chapter 17 that there was a man who had a sick son. The scripture says he had epilepsy and he had it bad. The Bible says he suffered severely and he brought his son to the disciples and they could not cast the demon out. They could not heal the boy of the epilepsy. And why is that? Why is that? Tree, tree, Courtney, why couldn't the disciples, they, they hung with Jesus. They helped Jesus. They helped him do his work on earth. But why couldn't they heal the little boy, the man's son of epilepsy? Because they simply did not believe. <laughs> I got three minutes. I got three minutes. Why were they unable to cast out demons and, 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 and do, do the things that they saw Christ do? Because he said we would be able to do greater works than him. But why can't we do greater works in this day and time? Because we talk a big talk, but we simply don't believe. Am I helping anybody? <laughs> but I want to talk to the mountain movers this morning. Jesus said, and I think it's Mark chapter 11. He said, have faith in God. For assuredly, I say unto you, whoever says to this mountain, be thy removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things he says will be done. He will have what he says. Whatever you ask, believing the scripture says you will receive whatever you ask but the key is you've got to believe how many mountain movers how many mountain do you have the faith the size of a mustard seed to say to the mountain whatever your situation is whatever you're going through whatever your mountain is thank you jesus whatever your mountain is this morning i want you to step up and be a mountain mover and speak to that mountain. The scripture said, Jesus said himself, surely I say to you, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, surely I say to you, you can say to this mountain, be thy removed and cast into the sea. And whatever you say, if you believe it done, you will have what you say. <laughs> I just want to encourage you to stop talking the talk and let's begin to believe God for the impossible. All things are possible to those what? Who believe. <laughs> oh, it's eight o'clock. Listen, I don't know about you, but I'm pressing to be a mountain mover, baby. I, 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 I want some things in life. And of course, we know that, that, that when we, we, we operate in what we believe, I get up and I go to work every day because I believe that if I get up and go to work, I'm going to get, get, get the funds that I need to take care of myself. I believe that I would not go to work if I did not believe that they were going to pay me for, for my services. I think you understand what I'm saying. So 
Are you operating in what you believe? That's a whole nother sign. Are you operating? Because we know that faith without works is dead. But if you really believe God, you will walk in what you believe. Listen, y'all, it's eight o'clock. Well, it's eight oh one. I love y'all. I love y'all. I'm telling you, I do. And I want to encourage us to step up. Step your faith up a notch, baby. Step your faith. God is able to do some magnificent things, but his hands are tied behind his back when we don't believe. Now, y'all run on. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm off today. And I want to thank you all, those of you who gave me congratulatory um, um wishes and comments or whatever on my honorary doctorate man god is doing some great things thanks so much uh to glenn edwards um who have been such a blessing to the tiffany tutu ag ministries um i am so encouraged i love each and every one of you and i just believe that by faith the best is yet to come. Now y'all run on. Run on and enjoy this day. Make sure that you change your atmosphere. Be conscious of the fact that you can change your atmosphere and not allow your atmosphere to change you. And y'all don't ever forget Tiffany Tutu AG is praying for you. I be praying for y'all. I love y'all so much. Enjoy! <laughs> Happy weekend! Thank <laughs> you.